We begin with CBS 2's Charlie DeMarta, though, live in the newsroom following these breaking developments. Charlie. Brad and Erica, President Donald Trump has teased the idea of commuting former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich's sentence. Today, he went through with it, calling the 14-year sentence ridiculous. Bl Blagojevich is just one of several high-profile commutations today. I did commute his sentence. Speaking from Joint Base Andrews, President Trump making it official. He'll be able to go back home with his family after serving eight years in jail. That was a tremendously powerful ridiculous sentence in my opinion. Now all eyes are on the Inglewood Federal Correctional Institution, a low security prison in Jefferson County, Colorado, about 15 miles southwest of Denver, where former Governor Rod Blagojevich will soon walk free, convicted in a campaign contribution scheme, which included an attempt to sell then Senator Barack Obama's Senate seat. He was charged in 2008. He uh, served eight years in jail. There's a long time to go. Many people disagree with the sentence. He's a Democrat. He's not a Republican. The White House says during his time in prison, Blagojevich displayed exemplary character. He tutors and teaches GED classes. He mentors prisoners, encouraging them to believe in the justice system. They rarely get to see their father. Daughters Amy and Annie will soon be reunited with their dad, and wife Patty will soon get her husband back, bringing what she calls a nightmare to a close. Blagojevich, rather, was set to be released in 2024. The White House saying in a statement that some of the factors that they considered in commuting his sentence were letters of support from fellow inmates, politicians who've been vocal on the 14-year sentence, and how the former governor utilized his time while in prison. Live in the newsroom, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Charlie. This was one day before Blagojevich reported to prison. That was March 2012. His wife Patty by his side. In fact, she's been his biggest advocate, pushing for his release for years. 